Dominic Team's dream has been shattered by a setback. He wrist injury to defend his U.S. Open title later. That's not going to happen to hurting his wrist again during training. Now, he first hurt that wrist in his opening match in Mallorca back in June. He Ladies and gentlemen, the champion of the 2020 U.S. Open, Dominic Team. It seemed as if Dominic Team was experiencing some kind of medical problem as he was competing against Ben Shelton in the second round of the U.S. Open. So this caused the supporters to get anxious. Also, many people are curious about the circumstances that led to Dominic's decision to surrender the match after the first set, which has prompted many people to question precisely what occurred to the professional athlete. Dominic, who was once ranked third in the world, has been dealing with a health worry in recent years. Although this is not the first time that Dominic has had a health scare, the fact that he was unable to complete the match was nevertheless a cause for concern for fans who were following the game from both inside the stadium and at home. Thus, keep watching this video to see the tragic story of Dominic Team. Since, since the injury I've played many tournaments, I, I did many, many. The mental side was, was not that easy. Dominic Team is a professional tennis player from Austria. The ATP has given him the honor of being ranked as high as third in the world in singles, which he accomplished for the first time in March 2020. Team has won 17 singles championships on the ATP Tour, including a Grand Slam trophy at the 2020 US Open. The champion of the 2020 US Open, Dominic Team. When he defeated Alexander Zverev in the final after coming back from a two-set deficit. As a result of his victory, Team became the first male player born in the 1990s to win a singles championship at a major tournament. Additionally, he became the first Austrian to win the singles title in the U.S. Open. When Team was a youngster, he reached the number two spot in the world rankings. In addition to winning the Orange Bowl in 2011, he finished in second place in the French Open Boys event in 2011. In 2014, he made his debut in the top 100 of the professional rankings for the very first time. At the 2015 Open de Nice Côte d'Azur, which took place in France, he won for the first time in his ATP career. His first major semi-final appearance came the following year as he competed in the French Open in 2016. As a result of his actions, he was able to break into the top 10 in the global rankings. After that, he made it to the final of his first Masters 1000 tournament in 2017, which was held at the Madrid Open. Big time tennis on a big time point. At the 2019 Indian Wells Masters, team defeated Roger Federer in the championship match. Wins the very first Masters 1000 title so claiming his first success in the Masters 1000 tournament. Throughout his career, Team has routinely blasted massive shots with both his forehand and single-handed backhand, displaying some of the most powerful ground strokes on the court. Since the addition of coach Nicolas Massou to his squad in March 2019, he has brought more diversity to his technique by using a sliced backhand and increasing the amount of net play he plays. At 1.85 meters tall, he has a serve that can reach speeds of up to 145 miles per hour. A very good uh, kick serve. The balls uh, with top spin, with back and a forehand. Which he often employs in order to set up powerful one-two punches. Team was born on September 3, 1993 in Wiener Neustadt, Austria. His parents, Wolfgang and Karen Team, are both tennis teachers. Although Team was raised in Lichtenworth, he did not start playing tennis until he was six years old. So Bresnik began serving as Team's official coach when he was nine years old. In the year when Team was 12 years old, Bresnik was the one who suggested that he switch from a two-handed backhand to a one-handed backhand. Consequently, it was from this moment that he began to achieve a great deal of success overall. In addition to being an excellent defender, Team is mainly a player who plays the baseline position aggressively. With a hefty forehand and a tenacious and powerful single-handed backhand, his ground strokes are robust on both wings. The fact that he uses a single-handed backhand makes him one of the few younger players in the ATP. At the recommendation of his coach, Team reportedly switched to using his single-handed backhand as his primary stroke. In contrast to many typical single-handed players, his backhand is able to efficiently handle high-bouncing balls, which has been a significant challenge for them. When it comes to constructing points and outlasting his opponents, Team often employs ground strokes that are strong and penetrating. It is possible for him to attack and defend well because of the top spin that he generates on his ground strokes and the fact that he possesses a lengthy take back on both wings. Team also has a powerful serve which can reach up to 145 miles per hour. He often returns serves from as far back as possible, which enables him to take more time and prepare complete swings while he is returning the ball. In addition, Team has made significant progress in his slice backhand, which is an essential move, particularly on hard courts with little bounce. His cautious but aggressive playing style, in particular the lengthy take back on his ground strokes, his ability to prolong extended baseline rallies, and his topspin serves have all been very beneficial to his clay game. On the Roland Garros website, he was referred to as an heir to the throne. There are a number of high-ranked clay 
clay court players whom he has defeated on clay, including Rafael Nadal, whom he has defeated four times on clay. Stunning victory for Dominic Thiem. It has also been said that his cerebral game is impressive, particularly his rate of victories and tie breaks. After losing the first set of his match on August 30th against Ben Shelton, Ben Shelton is on his way. Dominic left the court for a short period of time because he was frustrated. After he had returned, he voiced his displeasure to his squad, and then he dropped the first game against Ben, which was a game in which he seemed to be almost incapable of returning the ball at all. After that, he doubled over the net and summoned the physician to attend to him on the court. It seemed as if he was choking back his saliva when he was eventually compelled to give up the battle. Due to the fact that Dominic was suffering from gastroenteritis, which is a short-term disease that is caused by an infection of the digestive system, he was forced to withdraw from the Winston in Salem Open. In light of how he was acting on the court, it seems plausible that Dominic was also experiencing the same condition throughout this match. Dominic's behavior during his play against Alexander Bublik, in which he stepped into the tunnel and then swiftly returned, was another thing that raised some anxiety when it occurred. Dominic, on the other hand, eventually made his way back onto the court and triumphed against Alexander in a series of straight sets to win his first match at a Grand Slam tournament in over two years. Thus, Dominic was the winner of the U.S. Open in the year 2020. However, his desire to duplicate that accomplishment was regrettably cut short due to the many health problems he was experiencing. Dominic has had a difficult time regaining the level of success he had at the beginning of the decade, despite the fact that he was previously regarded as the third greatest player in the world. In 2021, he had a difficult time maintaining his form, and then in June of the same year, he had an injury to his wrist. In April of last year, he completely fell out of the top 50. It is anticipated that he would earn at least a little improvement in his rating after unseating Alexander, who is presently rated 25th in the world. All in all, he is currently placed 81st on the list of the world's best players. Dominic has not issued any kind of public statement on the reason he withdrew from the match. Nevertheless, it is evident that he thought he was unable to continue because of the circumstances. His recent troubles with gastroenteritis have led many people to conclude that the issues he was facing on the court are due to the fact that he was suffering from the condition. However, regardless of the specific nature of his health problems, everyone is keeping their fingers crossed that he will be able to resume playing at a high level in the near future. Ben did not intend for his triumph to come about under such unfortunate circumstances, despite the fact that he is obviously pleased to be moving on to the next round. There is a lot of uncertainty about Dominic Team's future beyond this point. On the whole, it will be up to him to decide. When it comes to tennis, there is no room for taking half measures. The only thing that total dedication grants you is the opportunity to attend the party. It does not ensure that you will have a nice time. In the meanwhile, we are waiting to see if tennis is able to reclaim one of its past great dreams, or whether it has sucked it down, eaten it up, and gobbled it up, never to return. Please share your opinions about Dominic Team with us in the comment section below. And that wraps things up. We appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. Please hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next one.